Didn't get like any sleep last night. There was always a light on. I need a sleep mask. It's 11.30. 11.30 is just like the wake up time here. I wake up at 11.30. That's it. <laughs> when I'm home, I wake up at like 7. We're gonna get breakfast and coffee. Today, Vanessa, what do we, what do you want to do? I don't, should we venture out and try and rent bikes? I'm kind of scared. Mm. Like, biking here is intense. I don't really like biking. Yeah, I think we should do a canal tour. Okay, my double chin, lovely. I did it. I think we should do a canal tour. Sitting alone in my room. Day five in Amsterdam. Kind of hard to believe. Five days flew by really quick. Last night, the girl sleeping in this bed uh, kept her light on until like 2.30 a.m. and then turned it back on at like 7 a.m. And I'm just like, the only sleep that I got was from 2.30 to 7. You could argue that's partly my fault. Like I should just have a sleep mask and deal with it. Like that's what you're signing up for. But also like, in my opinion, I just think it's rude. Like, I would never keep my light on that late when you can see people are clearly trying to sleep. I just think it's rude. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Do you think it's completely okay and acceptable? Or do you think like, yeah, like that is kind of rude. Like, you have roommates, like they're trying to sleep. She wasn't from America. She was from like Taiwan. I don't really know what they think of personal space there. I don't know. I was getting really frustrated with it because I got like no sleep last night. Coffees are perfect, but they're smaller than in America, which is kind of nice. I gotta say, for a hotel cafe, you wouldn't expect much, right? You'd expect a cold case of food, just not that much. This place is so impressive. They cook up really good food at really good prices. My breakfast, I got a yogurt bowl. I was expecting yogurt plopped in a bowl with like a few fruit. No, this looks so good. This is seriously as if I went to a specialized Aussie bowl place. Nessa got the blueberry french toast. I just took a shower. I'm going to attempt to plug in the blow dryer and see if it makes us lose power. I really want to blow dry my hair. I'm so nervous, like I'm just nervous. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yep, it's a no. <laughs> Not like that, <laughs> We're just gonna go. As the story goes, it is 1.30 and we are heading out. I'm not mad about it though. I know some people when they travel, they're like, we need to wake up early, 7 a.m. every day, blah, 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 do a bunch of stuff. And I'm like that sometimes, don't get me wrong. Like if I were in Hawaii, I'd probably be like that and want to go on adventures. But when I'm in a different country, I'm like, I'm just going to go float. I feel like when you travel, there's this pressure because you spend a lot of money on traveling and your time, there's this pressure to spend it so wisely. Like you need to be doing something interesting. You need to be seeing all these sites and you don't need to be doing that. You just need to be existing and taking in your surroundings. Like it doesn't need to be such pressure. The way I look at every situation is I'll just come back here one day if I wanna see more. And I know that's not realistic. We have jobs, we don't have all the money in the world. And I, and I do say that in really a meaningful way. Yeah, I'm totally gonna come back here again. I kinda just say it to put my mind at ease. Like I could really come back if I really wanted to. And then you're not sad and feel like you missed out. Vanessa just sent her old iPhone to the DHL store, which is right over there. And then we walked over to this cafe. I got like a vegetarian sushi and Vanessa got an acai bowl. And right now I'm booking us tickets to go on a dinner canal cruise tonight. Baby iPhone and mama iPhone. <laughs> this is so small. Yours is huge. I know, I like it. Really? This is annoying. It's so you nice it to like pocket? watch videos. No, it fits. I somehow, with my subpar instincts, was able to lead us over to the ferry. And you can take the ferry over to the other side where there's a lookout. I literally didn't even look up directions at all. And now we've walked all the way to the ferry. Free? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it is, at least. Like. Okay, suddenly it makes a lot of sense why that ferry was free. It's literally like 
a skip across the pond. You could swim that distance if you needed to. It was like a two minute ferry ride. And now we're gonna go up to the Adam Lookout Point. They have a swing up there. I don't know, maybe we'll do it if it's not like ridiculously crazy.